Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe. I'm out today taking some photos of the Tacoma. It's a beautiful fall day here in Utah and I figured now's a great time to give you guys an update on the Tacoma. You guys have been asking in pretty much every video, you know, what's going on with the Tacoma? Do we have any updates on it? You know, what's going on? So today I'll run you guys through all the mods on the truck. A lot has changed on this since I've done really any major videos with this. Um, I've done quite a few upgrades and mods on here without doing any videos. So today we'll give you guys a full walk around, you know, what's going on from the front to the rear suspension and all that jazz. Now we are going to start at the front. Well, as you guys can see for the grill, I do have a TRD Pro grill on here again. Now, as you guys know, I've gone through having the TRD Pro style grill on here, you know, which is the fake grill after a while that guy started fading pretty bad which is to be expected when you are running you know after well i don't want to say aftermarket but like knockoff stuff so i threw on the trd off-road grill with the little you know three lights you know really like that grill really enjoyed it but after you know some time it was time to switch it up so rather than going back to the oe trd off-road grill which is you know like chrome decided to go with the trd pro now this is a oem trd pro grill and the big difference between this and like your fake roast is that this guy is going to be more of a satin finish rather than your you know matte black and it shouldn't you know fade over time and i think it just looks really killer staying at the front for the bumper i am rocking a body armor pro style full bumper this is a steel bumper and in there i do have a worn evo 10s you know winch you know, mounted so that is the 10k winch with the synthetic line I am also running a worn little Haas Fairlead up front, which I really like the way this looks. And then also we do have the Factor 55 up front, um, which has been like super convenient. Really love that. For lighting in the bumper, fog lights, I am rocking the more motor four bangers. Now these things are awesome. And these are the flood beam, which is going to be the closest to your you know, fog lights for the output and you know, in the clear white. So love the fog lights. For the light up front, the 20 inch light bar is from Cali Rays. So I just had this guy lay around from, you know, other bumpers I ran on here. So put that guy back in, which is awesome. <clears throat> we are missing our D rings because, you know, someone decided they really wanted these more than me as this thing was parked outside. So whoever stole those D rings, you know, I hope you enjoy them. Coming up to the top. Um, I switched out the headlights, so we did have the Alpha Rex, um, they were the Lux Series or just the TRD off-road styles. Switch those out for the Alpha Rex Nova Series, and I will say that these headlights are worth every penny. They are pricey, but they're definitely worth it. The light output on these guys is amazing, the cutoff is amazing, and then, you know, as you guys know, we do get the little, you know, dancing little light show when we're unlocking, locking the truck. Let's see if it'll do it for us here. There we go. You know, when you're rocking out Alpha X, you know that you're ready to party. So headlights are awesome. We'll stay at the front or the whole truck. Still got the wrap on here, which is the white, you know, digi camo. I didn't do the best job on here, but you can't really tell, you know, overall looks pretty cool. I know it's not everyone's, you know, cup of tea, but I like it. What's really nice about the wrap is that I don't have to worry about, you know, pinstriping the truck. You know, I know some of you guys do enjoy, you know, getting all the pinstripes on your paint and all that jazz you know it's your marks of honor but for me i like to protect the paint as much as i can so this has been really awesome for the fender flares front and rear currently i'm rocking the bushwhackers and <clears throat> i just threw these guys on here you know just trying to switch it up when i wrap all this stuff and overall like the way they look one of the things that i did do moving into you know wheels and tires i actually threw um spacers up front because I felt like the wheels were too sunk in. Now, as far as rubbing, I'm definitely rubbing, but only on the fender flares. And I'll show you guys a little example here as we're like going off road. Um, so with the spacers up front, I'm definitely rubbing on the fender flares. So I will probably be throwing the OEM fender flares back on here because that's going to resolve that issue pretty much immediately. Um, before I get to the suspension, we'll go to the sides. So got the little, you know, sequential little turn signals here in the mirrors let's see if we can show you guys there we go top i switched out the baja amber lights for these um more motos um also we got the four bangers and this is a combo beam now these have been really awesome you know for only having like three little leds in here light output on these is pretty phenomenal so super pumped on and i love the way these guys look 
other side still got the air raid snorkel now that thing is pretty you know slick in my opinion i did have the trd it's not a trd it's like an arb style whatever it was um and i think this one looks a lot better just you know a lot more sleek um so yeah super pumped on that the roof has been wrapped in black um and i believe this is like a satin color again super pumped on that as well moving on to the side of the truck still rocking the cali raised rock sliders and these guys have been amazing as you guys may know i end up actually calling these guys myself rather than you know send them in and surprisingly even using them i haven't had to recoat them yet so that's pretty awesome again rare we got the fender flares now on the back if you guys can see it we're still rocking the best top super top for truck two now this has been pretty awesome you know like i said for like taller lows and all that jazz um i took this like i said i threw the truck out to um colorado for the expo um and on the way back there was some pretty like you know extreme winds on the highway and this thing you know held up absolutely like no problem at all love this thing super awesome i think it looks killer and i just love the fact that i can pull it off you know whenever i need to you know if i do want to you know throw on like a bed rack on here or whatever super simple there is you know options for bed racks that go over the you know best tops or super toppers but you know that's something i just haven't had time to do with and to be quite honest i haven't really been taking this truck out having two babies now and the wife it's actually impossible for all four of us to go into you know tacoma now so we take the tundra everywhere <clears throat> coming to the rear still have the body armor pro series rear bumper and you know what the thief didn't steal these you know the ring shackles so we still have the shackles on here i didn't end up putting lights in the back bumper yet so you know haven't seen a need for it, but we do have the option for that so and then inside the bed i do have the body armor you know molly panels which has been really nice um just usually we'll keep all my tools and gear in here and then you know like the high lift jack you know as of recent now <clears throat> we're going to come back to the front now for the suspension i'm still rocking the icon stage 8 kit you know love it it's been awesome one thing that i did change up front though is i switched out the spring to the heavyweight 700 pound spring to compensate for the bumper and the winch and i will say that i just don't think it was really necessary um so because i haven't really ran the bumper with the you know normal spring that comes on here i probably could have left it on there um freaking b um you know no complaints on that at all also we are now rocking a trd um skip plate which i don't know why trd off-road trucks didn't get these oem but i've got that guy on here now now for wheels and tires we are running 35s now this is a 35 12 and a half it's a netto um trail grappler mt these tires have been amazing um as you guys know in the past i ran the falcon at3 w's which have been I mean awesome and honestly this on the highway rides in my opinion just like the you know at3ws i also did have the miles are patagonias the you know as you guys know the patagonias and i mean this empty tire is like a million times better in my opinion especially because the miles tires for me they wore out after about four thousand miles so you know grand I don't, i've only got like you know 2500 to 3000 miles on these tires just pretty much like i said mainly highway miles you know some off-road miles but love these tires and i've got those wrapped in the around this you know fuel um wheel um i want to say this is the rebel you know love it the black black and white looks great so super pumped on that i don't think i'm missing anything here going underneath the truck still have the mbrp exhaust and it is the you know cut off one at the axle so you know still pretty stoked on that it's not too loud it's not too bad you know coming to the rear you know with the you know icon kit we do have the rxt leaf pack at the highest setting so that's why the truck sits pretty tall right now especially because i don't have any additional weight really here in the rear um you know overall love the way that the truck sits yeah might not be everyone's cup of tea but for me it works really well and it does amazing off-road in the rear as you guys know i used to have the alpha x taillights now i did have new alpha x taillights coming with the lux series with the sequential um during that time frame i pulled the other ones off put the oem ones on and those taillights never actually came in they were looks like stolen you know off the porch 
So UPS says they were delivered, but never got them. So anyway, that's something that we, you know, we got to work on getting those on here. Now under the hood, the truck is still 100% stock. We just have, you know, the TRD air filter and that's pretty much how it's going to stay. What are we missing here? You know, now that I'm going over the build, it seems like it's a pretty, you know, mild build, but you know, it works for me. On the interior, truck is essentially stock. We have a little switch panel, the calories one, the A switch getting pedal for the lights, which has been awesome. You know, we got some DCs in here, which are the essentials. I would say my favorite mod on the interior of the truck is that I went through and sound deadened all the doors, which has been huge. And then upgrade the speakers, even though this came with the JBL package. I just did some Hertz M series and has been awesome. So aside from that, I mean, it's stock in here and you know, it works for me. So that's that on that. I got interrupt the video for a second. As I was leaving, I realized I didn't tell you guys about the latest mod and my favorite mod I've done to this truck yet. Now you can't really see it, but I went through and actually upgraded the rear brakes on this thing. So we got rid of the drum brakes and we're rocking some Petters rear disc brakes on this thing. It's a conversion kit. Now, I can't believe I can tell you guys, but as you guys can see it. Now, not only do these guys look killer, performance on it is amazing. And I feel like, would I have known that there would have been such a drastic, you know, improvement in braking performance? I probably would have done this way sooner, especially with the bigger tires. You know, I feel like it's one of the things that's very much overlooked, you know, with the overlanding off-road, you know, and just in general 4x4 community. Everyone adds a shit ton more weight on their trucks, you know, just really bogging down bigger tires and no one really focuses on the brakes. I think this is a huge, huge like improvement and, you know, I think everyone should do it. Yeah, it's pricey. The install is a little bit difficult, but it's definitely worth it, you know? Again, you are able to replace your brake pads and all that, but I don't think anything can come even close to this. Anyway, with that being said, back to the video wherever I'm, you know, throwing this into, so. Now, I think that's pretty much it for the build. You know, I'm sure I'm missing stuff. Yeah, you know, I got the weather techs here on the outside and also, you know, on the inside as far as the floor liners. Thing is, I, like I said, I haven't really been driving this truck much, like at all. Once I got the Tundra, this thing actually, you know, just became more of a truck that I'm gonna drive if I'm just going out by myself and whatnot. Taking it out to Colorado, it was really fun because I was in here by myself. But as some of you guys may know, if you put a car seat in one of these back seats, whatever seat that's behind the front seat has to be like screwed up all the way. I'm not the tallest guy in the world, you know, being 6'1", but if I were to have both car seats in here, you know, I actually wouldn't be able to drive my truck because the seat has to be pulled all the way up, which is a little bit unfortunate. Or if we got a seat in here, then, you know, I can't have a passenger. So, and then the wife would have to sit in the back. So with that being said, still love, love this truck. If I take it out by myself or just have one passenger. So really haven't done much to it ever since. I feel like this is probably going to be the final stage of the truck. I have been considering, you know, selling it. So I threw it out there as some feelers. So, you know, just let me know what you guys think. You know, do I continue working on the truck? Do we pull the wrap off, take it back to stock and, you know, start over? Do I sell it, get something else? Maybe get another Tacoma, you know, start over. You know, just a little bit conflicting on that. You know, as I like to modify my vehicles aggressively, I feel like I'm getting to the point now where this is in its final stage. I pulled a deviate roof rack on here, off of here. I have another one to put on. Just really haven't had a need for it. Why add something on here if I'm not going to be using it? Like I said, the Tundra has been the main um, adventure mobile for us, you know, as of recent. So, you know, quick update for you guys as I'm out here enjoying this really nice weather out here in utah <clears throat> let me know what you guys think about the build Do you guys want to see more content on the tacoma if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel drop me a like below drop me a comment and then you know until next time i hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you